So going to um, take some of this um, butyl self-adhesive um, sound dampening mat and get some of that inside the inner walls of these KEF Q100s. They're pretty hollow sounding at the moment. They're, they're notorious for having quite thin, thin side and top walls and well bottom as well. But um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, so the first thing I need to do is I need to get my thumbs in here to pull this ring out. It's it's pretty stiff. So um, it, you just need to get some tension on your thumb and just kind of really pull it out. But let me take that out first. Here's the outer ring starting to come out. Um, I found the best way to get in there is to get both First of all, to wedge that up so you don't damage it with your fingernails. Get both thumbs in next to each other and just really pull and then they'll start coming out. And then work your way around to, to take that out. Right, ring just popped off. You basically have um, these these plugs that fit into the, to the slots all the way around. Um, and this bit is, this bit's got some foam. Um, it is a it is tight fit, so um, don't yank it. Just just get um, get your thumb pressure on it and pull it out slowly, and it'll gradually work its way free. Okay, and make sure you take you loosen it evenly. You don't take it all out on one side because it might snap some of the some of the pegs. Now I'm going to take these screws out around here. Um, they're just Phillips Phillips heads, and uh, yeah, go from there. Right, once you've got the all the screws off, um, the, the driver is actually um, really um, held quite tight um, by tension to, to the to the baffle. Um, to get it out, you can you can see if you can sort of rotate it um, uh, to, to sort of crack it loose. What I did was um, I just got a flathead screwdriver, um, got it in between got it into this this little point in here um, and just tried to wedge it just slightly un into the corner of of the wood and the um, the metal um, uh, plate um, and it didn't need much it just needed some slight movement to crack it free so now I'm, I'm going to I'm going to need both hands for this because the drive is quite heavy um, so I'm going to need I'm going to just slide it out carefully, not to damage any of the wires. Um, and there'll be connections on the top and the bottom for um, uh, for uh, high and low uh, woofer and tweeter um, connections. Just be careful not to damage anything. Right, and then we have the driver as it came out of the um, out of the cabinet. Um, make sure you do pull it out straight, use your fingers spread around it and make sure it slides out straight. Um, you see the blue and the black connectors at the top um, and down at the bottom you've got red and black. Um, it looks actually like on the back of mine at least um, the KEF sticker on the back is upside down. So that if that helps you get the orientation back in afterwards um, then that's hope that's useful. Um, I'm just going to check. Uh, I've got enough slack. Um, I'm going to I'm going to prop up um, um, uh, prop up the the area here so that I can I can seat the sits the the drive down, um, or, or I can or, I, or I'll disconnect these. I'll see I'll see what's easiest. But I think I should be able to just put some uh, put something down to um, put the speaker down on. The driver down on it should be should be okay to work with. There's enough space to get through there with the cable. Right, so if we have a look inside here, you can see the um, the base reflex port down there. There's some black foam, uh, not black, grey foam down the bottom. The 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 sort of back and tops have um, this white foam. It's um, surrounding the entire top, top and back um, of the cabinet, basically. So after we've um, we've um, stuck the the butyl in, um, butyl sheets in, we want to make sure we get get the foam back into the um, to the same positions. 
the butyl sheets I got were actually pre-cut to this size, which is actually a pretty good, a pretty good fit to fit in here. Um, if you look at it on the side, um, there are um, to at the bottom. If you if you feel around, there are there are some uh, corner braces sort of around here. I think there's one here as well, but it's basically to um, sort of keep rigidity in the in the cabinet. So uh, we want to. Tr um, it, it's good that we, there's a little bit of space um, space around, so that we can get this installed flat um, and avoid avoid the bracing points at the front. Um, so I'm going to put two sheets on each side and two on the top. Let's see how how it goes. So how I found it was quite easy to get these in is just kind of roll roll them up like this, shove it through. Actually, the first thing I did do is um, kind of move the foam out of the way for now. It's, there's no adhesive, it's not stuck, it just, um, it's just kind of hanging free in there. So I'm going to pass this through. And once it's in, I, I then kind of spread it out on the inside. Um, hang on. It's a bit hard to do with one with one hand. Just keep, just gotta move the phone out of the way. There we go. Okay, so rotate it now and spread it out on the inside and kind of fill around for placement so that you can get it flat against the side wall. Okay, so look in there that's going in there I'm just going to flatten it out before I take the the, the backing off I'm going to flatten it all out make sure I'm aware of where the bracing points are in the corners to avoid sticking it to those um, I'm going to line this actually so the the top edge is touching the the, the top um, it's the highest point basically where the wood um, the top meets meets inside here use that as a reference so I get it get it in straight and it's uh, and it's consistent on each side so what I'm then going to do is once I've got it in position I'm going to start peeling off the backing paper um, peel it off like about halfway get it in position stick it in with my fingers um, and then get um, pull it pull it in pull it off um, from uh, you can sort of uh, get get it get it from underneath and pull it, pull the rest of it out. Then push it down with your fingers, and then going to use this on the inside to get some pressure to roll over the mat to press it down hard um, everywhere against uh, against the inner walls of the speaker cabinet. Right, got the first sheet stuck down in there. Um, as you can see, I've aligned it with the top of the cabinet in the corner. Um, don't know if you can see, but there's actually a bracing point uh, at the top as well as the bottom. So you need to leave a bit of a gap, a bit of a gap here at the front um, to avoid those. Um, yeah, it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, but covers enough of the wall to make a make a difference. But um, you can already hear that there's a little bit of a difference in sound. Um, slightly lower, uh, lower frequency um, resonance, but um, yeah, hopefully that will make a positive improvement. Um, yeah. Right, second sheet on top is in, um, and again, use the old, use the old roller to um, to press press it down. It um, um, also push down all the corners. Um, because um, it's sometimes hard to get all of it on the on the roller, but um, you just basically want to make sure every every part of it is is stuck down as hard as you can. Um, uh, in hindsight, it would have been easier to just it, it would have been easier to disconnect these connectors and take the driver out, but um, but yeah, um, it's fine. That is fine as it is still. Right, got two layers in on sides both sides and top 
Um, yeah, so um, disconnecting the driver, um, good idea. So that if you when you're working, if this if the if you're put, applying pressure and this wobbles around a bit, there's no risk of accidentally tugging on the driver and it falling um, falling on the floor or something like that. Um, didn't happen, but um, it's just something to be careful of. Um, but yeah, I managed to get those all in with the driver still connected. Um, so now I need to put all the, the foam back where it should be at the uh, tops and sides. For that, and for the for the white the white foam, the grey foam, I need to push back a bit. There was a bit of space around the opening of the reflex base reflex port, so I need to put everything back to how it was basically. Um, don't know if you can really see it there, but yeah, there's some grey foam down the bottom there. Um, let me push that back a little bit. Yeah, cool. Okay, that's pretty much how it was. Um, now I'm going to take the driver, oh yeah, there's blue at the top, blue cable and black cable at the top, and I'm going to slide that in um, exactly as I took it out and get that screwed in. Um, something to bear in mind, when you screw it in, you, um, it's, I imagine it's like screwing in a, um, tightening up a, a wheel on a car, you want to start with um, opposite corners and keep keep doing opposite corners and work your way around. When you've got them all in, um, uh, make sure that the, the same tightness as best you can. And again, do opposite corners each time. Um, so yeah, just going to do that now. Right, finished screwing these in. Uh, I did this one, this one, this one, this one, and then these two at the end. Um, Screwed them all in um, just to get positioning right. Um, uh, didn't didn't tighten them up properly. Um, and then once they were all in, then I tightened tightened them up in that same pattern. Then went around again, tightened up a bit more um, until they were um, like pretty tight without having to put too much force in. Um, like roughly what they were like when I took them out. Um, so they should be pretty tight because you don't want any movement. But you also don't want to strip strip um, the the threads um, by over tightening. Um, yeah, and then basically you you get to the point where it's the same the same tightness on all of them following that pattern. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put the ring back in and um, give the speakers a try. Okay, so this speaker has been loaded with two layers on the sides and the top with some butyle um, dampening mats um, this is, they sound um, a bit more sturdy as opposed to the undampened one seems to make a difference let's see how it sounds <laughs> 